somebody's gonna be like watching your shit, like, oh man, hey Jake and that Michael Scott thing that he does is like, <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they, they, like they gonna completely forget about the office. It's like, yeah, bro, it's, <laughs> this shit. They might put me on a reboot, right? You know, know what I'm saying? You never know. Make me a character, John Krasinski. Who? I would love to be on this. I mean, go to stay cooking the Knicks right now. Damn. I mean, it's first quarter, but <laughs> I would be like a Creed. I would be like a Creed like character. Creed, Creed. Yeah. of course. <laughs> Bro, he's funny as a bitch. Creed, my nigga, though. Creed, my favorite character in the office, bro. Duh. That that basketball episode is still. Duh. With Stanley, <laughs> Stanley, that might be one of the most. Stanley's dribble, dog. <laughs> Stanley's dribble. <laughs> Michael Scott's free throw motion, bro. <laughs> Michael Michael looked so he looked so defeated. Well, you <laughs> see, you he see just knew the black guy was going to be good. You see the clip of the white dude in high school? He mimicked uh, Michael Scott's free throw attempt during the game. No, <laughs> like he did the whole routine and everything. No. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it's been funny too because you know like. The clips you've been seeing, I've been seeing more and more clips from like school games, stuff like that, where they're doing stuff from like either movies or TV shows, yeah. anything like that. Like just whether it's a chant, yeah, whether it's right. whatever the case may be, and everything like that. So it's been, so it's been, cool. been really just something different and everything like that. Yeah. But yeah. But hey, man, welcome back to Off the Clock Sports Podcast, the place where the game begins and ends. I am your host, Young Deuces. With me, I got my man Bergy Streets. So, and as always, I got my man Jake exclusive. What up, what up? What up, what up? <clears throat> and we are here for another week of talking, I guess, NBA for the most part. Yeah, right? yeah. This is pretty much the only thing really going on. I mean, <laughs> what is, what baseball is, is going on, but it's pretty much spring training, so ain't nobody really. Mm-hmm. With a smidgen of the NFL, a little bit of NFL. Right. A little bit of NFL right. news going right. on. Right, yeah. Nothing crazy. Uh, I want to start announcing the games that we're watching <laughs> and everything, too. I know we kind of talk about it, but mm-hmm. we're, we're currently watching the uh, Golden State Knicks game mm-hmm. and everything like that. And yes. I know Knicks has been your sleeper. You know, yeah. man. So right now they're getting cooked, but, well, but it's still it's, it's it's first quarter. It's you know, but it's regular season too. <laughs> that too. Now they're down twenty to four in game seven. Of the playoffs. <laughs> That's right. True. You can't Ooh. sleep. You can't sleep on Golden State either. Though. I know a lot of people counting them out right now. Golden State is still. Golden State is still Golden State. Yeah. Well, yeah. I told you, like I said. I mean, this is. Remember, I said this is the the championship that I would like to see. Golden State in New York. Remember we Golden talked State about that. Last? Remember we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, I said. Yeah, I said yeah, yeah, if yeah. the Bucks don't make it. Yeah, I remember I said if the Bucks don't make it, the, then this is what I would want to see. Because yeah, okay. and everything like that. So yeah. I'm, a, I, I'm like, oh, I want to. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how opposite spectrum we were. You were like, I want them to go to the finals. I'm like, they ain't going to make the fucking playoffs. <laughs> 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 you can't sleep on them, man. It's yeah, still nah, the worst, man. You can't sleep on them, but. See, I, I kind of forgot that CP3 was there, bro. I don't know how, how I did, but yeah, CP3 back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, he that he comes be, off the bench now. So mm-hmm. like, yeah, him, him, and him, uh, throwing you know, him off the bench. Yeah, he on his ring chasing shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you like to say. Clay off the bench has been effective. Yeah, it worked. Clay off the bench, he, he buying into it. it. Yeah, that's and crazy. then that and you know that's that's what leads to a lot of like six man success, right? Yeah. Because think about all like the dopest six mans that we see, like Andre Iguodala, who was a starter. Once he became a six man, he was very effective, but he leaned into it. Yeah. Um, Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Who was all yeah. game. Jay yeah, Hello. He's probably one of my. He's probably my favorite six man of all Me time. Too. Besides, yeah. besides Manu. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Again, like I said. Tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Tomorrow. And it takes it takes people to. You was count women for Lou. Lou was nice. Yeah. Lou will. He was next. Yeah. I was coming up with. But you got Lou. You got. Lou. 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 I ain't never heard nobody ever call. That's what they call him. I don't. I forgot all about it. I heard. I heard a sweet Lou. It's during the bubble. You know what? You're right. During the bubble. Right. He's living ever since then. He's living forever. Lou. But yeah, you got horrible nickname. You got to tie into it, man. It's like. You gotta buy it. You gotta buy it. It's your a, team. Your team needed, man. You know what? Another thing is about the whole Warriors thing is like I was super happy to see that that Gary Payton kind of blossomed into a really good bench player too. Cause yeah. I remember when he was on the Bucks. Dog, me and my brother went to it was a Bucks Mavericks game, mm-hmm. and we got there so early because we were looking for parking and all this and that. When nobody on the court except for Gary Payton on the Bucks hitting every fucking yeah. shot he shot. I'm like, I'm like bro, bro, he me is too. cash. Me too. Really him, bro. Me and I'm too. like, I'm like, damn, he is a bucket. And I'm looking for him during the whole game. I'm like, bro, he oh, don't get in at all. Wait, <laughs> speaking <laughs> speaking of, of people's, you know, kids being in the league and shit like that, you know who who been getting the other the other spectrum of like, get this nigga out of here? <laughs> Tim Hardaway Jr. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they hate they right, hey, bro. THJ, bro. Bro, they bro, the bro, he he is bad business over there. THJ. THJ. 
I mean, it's just Tim Hardy. <laughs> <Ray's laughs> I know, but it's still. Like, he, not, not that's because <laughs> <that's laughs> Tim Hardy. Tim Hardy is a lot to say. Hey, that's, <laughs> because, <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> because people don't want to call him by his long nickname. Yeah, yeah. The dude special. Giannis jumped over. But yeah, no. Um, they they been. Uh, I remember I saw THJ trending, and I forgot that that was the, what they called him. Yeah. And I was like, what? And then and I just kept on seeing him like, get him off my team. Why do we? Why are we paying this man? <laughs> and so I was looking at the clips. True indeed. He, uh, he's he is he staking it up on the map. Nah, he's he been staking it up over there, bro. No, uh, no, he might be staking it up right now. Okay. But I'm saying, like, he's been decent, like, years. He's like, had a decent decent so, years. I, so maybe it's just this year. Because everything yeah. that I've seen from this year. Last year, he was a bucket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this I mean, he's carved out a good little career for Yeah, last year, he was a bucket. Okay, so this year, I don't know what happened. The, the Monstars got him. <laughs> I, feel him like, I feel like every team has that player that. It's like up no and down what here. they do. It's like people forget how good they are yeah. sometimes. I'm yeah. like, for us, it's Chris Middleton. It I feel is. like it I feel is. like a lot of people don't appreciate Chris Middleton. Bro, no. that's why every time he cook, I be like, mid still sell. And nobody, and nobody still mid like, still when he do it though, nobody say it. I like, said nobody said nothing. Oh yeah, he's one of the people. He's one of those dudes where I'm, I'm confident every time he pull up, like just pull, just go down court, oh, yeah. pull I'm up. I'm like that shit going in. I feel good. Bro, if it doesn't go in, I'm like damn. Especially mid range. Oh yeah, from mid. We in the mid range. Yeah. This, this, is, what, oh, this is this is what Middleton has become for in in sports media. He's become the when we want to shit on Giannis, we have to say. Middleton. Yeah. Big, we have to say look. Middleton is the guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I always see. Anytime I hear Middleton get brought up, it's when they are sliding Giannis. Gian- Giannis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And trying to say that he ain't, the, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, remember, like, your whole Kelly Perkins beat. You I know what I'm saying? Calling, calling. Chris Middleton is really Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid ass. 20 years from now, he's still going to be talking about this. Shit. I'm going to be <laughs> old and ready. Shut your butt. That was ass a horrible ass, 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 ass take, man. Was. Horrible. It did for us to win the championship and him have to eat those words. Mm-hmm. Be honest, a twenty please nugget. Shut your bum ass <laughs> up, bro. Like, shut but up. he back on it again. That's what I said. Right now, you on it again. No, no, who do the, they not? The Bucks ain't contenders. They pretenders, pretenders. bro. We number three. <laughs> How are we a pretender? <laughs> like, come not out here. Oh man, man. listen, y'all know we got. We we, we gonna have a weekly rant against. Kendrick Perkins. Against pretty much sports media. Pretty much sports media, man. Pretty much. But uh, let's talk about... Even though we are sports media. Right. No, we, <laughs> we, we knew media. We knew media. We knew media. We knew media. Um, so let's talk about the Cavs. Right now, the conversation is up in the air about should the Cavs retire Kyrie's jersey. Yeah. How are we feeling? I'm going to say it's a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Like, no questions asked, yes. And honestly, shit, Kevin Love, too. I agree. Those two guys. Yep. I say Kevin Love is a no. Kevin Why Love not? should get his return for by the T Wolves. He was a he was cold with the T Wolves. If anyone's gonna retire his jersey, it would be the T Wolves. I expect the T Wolves too, but I mean, mm-hmm. anytime we're like, but K Love, K Love's not a two team retirement, <laughs> like a two team jersey. Guy. I mean, if mm-hmm. for what for what imagine he did how rare himself, that is. For what Kevin he did, Love would not be in that. For what class. he did, but, uh, look at the teams he was on though. Like it's not rare. <laughs> like yeah. he was in Minnesota. He got buckets in Minnesota. Yeah. They better fucking retire. I mean, he was like jersey. a twenty twenty guy in Minnesota. I know, and they that ain't no goddamn. No, I'm saying Minnesota was like, when he was at his best. Saying? I feel like he well, deserved part of a, to, get, yeah. to get to get his jersey lifted. In Minnesota. No, sure. but as far as Kyrie goes, um, I was sitting there like really like thinking about that shit on the way home, and it's like, how long was he in Cleveland? Well, first of all, he drafted. He yeah, yeah, he drafted. There. I mean, I know he was one one there, but like yeah. I don't remember I how long say, he was I, there. I want to say about what five, six. Because what what year did he get drafted? What was it? Fourteen, fifteen, something like that. I believe so. He was, in, he was in Cleveland for six years. Yeah, six, no, six so, years. So I don't know if that's long enough to get your shit retired, bro. <laughs> But so know. is it? So is it? Is it? Do you base it off of years or impact? Because his impact on what they did over there. I would say. I mean, his there. impact was cool, but his impact really didn't get looked upon until LeBron came back. No, nah, because of that, that I mean, was he was thing. he was really nice, but like, imagine they weren't really doing well, shit until LeBron got back. Like, he no, hit, that's he got, hit the shot. That was getting them over the hump. He I hit believe. the shot. So we can say the same thing about LeBron when he first got drafted to Cleveland. Then. Nah, because LeBron is LeBron cemented his legacy within like the first. I mean, they went to the finals within, like, the first three years, didn't he? Yeah. Something like that? That's yeah, what I'm saying. But still. Four, okay, four years, yeah. So it's like, but that's a different comparison as far as LeBron wow. and Kyrie. Because wow. Kyrie didn't, like, lead the team into the finals. He was just a really good player for him. That's like, that's, I don't know, that's just, that's like saying Michael Red should have already hit his jersey to retire for us. 
He's going to be the jersey retired. Nah, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I, I'm, legal, I'm I not going to be happy about that. I think I'm not going to be happy about that. I don't want him to. I think Middleton should get it before Red. No, it's going to happen. Michael Ray will get it. Well, then Middleton's going to give up his number. Until it happens. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I, and I was thinking about it because I was like, okay, maybe maybe Kyrie doesn't get his jersey retired, but what what they should do in Cleveland is do like a big ass, whether it be like a statue or a big ass mor- uh, like a mural or some shit of the shot. But then, but then, because that shit is like his main iconic but, contribution to Cleveland. If anybody, so. if anybody gets a statue, it's going to be LeBron. Well, but, of course. Yeah. But to, but then it, but then the question comes down to. All right, so if he doesn't, if his jersey doesn't get retired in Cleveland, where does it get retired? Because Kyrie is a player whose jersey does deserve to get retired somewhere. It's gonna be Cleveland. It's gonna right, it should be Cleveland. Cleveland. It, it can't, it can't be on Brooklyn. If it's gonna be anywhere, it's, it's not gonna, gonna be Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I just don't. It's not I gonna be Mavs. No, if it's. I, gonna feel, be I feel like his impact to Cleveland is just as big as LeBron's impact. Yeah, I think. I don't think so. But if, if we're talking about the team and like the legacy of in the, the past team twenty and years, the championship and them kind of bringing everything back, that don't happen without Kyrie. In the past twenty years, if you're talking Cavs, nah, who, who, you, you, who, Cavs who, are still middle. Cavs are still middle, Cavs are still middle of the pack with Kyrie and then LeBron bro, comes back and they Kyrie, Kyrie, bro. Bro. Yeah, you you say that, wild, bro. You said they can still win with, 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 without uh, Kyrie. No, I'm not saying they could have. Uh, they weren't going to win without Kyrie. Kyrie yeah. was obviously a huge part of that team yeah. becoming, you know, a championship contender. But I'm saying well, before LeBron got there, Cleveland was ass to middle of the pack, and then LeBron yeah. went back, and they were instantly championship contenders. And when LeBron left, they that's was kind of impact. That's the impact. They was kind of Exactly. So, so that's what I'm saying. At this point, they didn't get hired in 10th in the East without LeBron. But no. And, but like, and, that, and to that point, 15, also, 13, 13, I agree. No, I, no, I understand that. But I'm and, saying, like, LeBron, they don't do what they did without Kyrie. That's and what I was going to say, saying. and to the, to the point that he's bringing up so here, I agree that Kyrie is the second greatest Cavs ever. He's the second greatest Cavs ever. Yeah. ever. He but that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you have to have your jersey retired because you were the second greatest player on a franchise. That, that actually it's means that. That means that. Exactly. <laughs> that means that. <laughs> that means that. Because <laughs> look, look at his company. Like, his company is LeBron. Did him? It did fucking Mark Price, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, and then like, what? Yeah, like, seriously, bro. bro. His impact during them that that, bro. I like, I get, I, I, I if we're t- uh, impact is not just championship impact. Like, feel like culture, everything that he brought there. Like, Kyrie was top he was only ten. There six years, bro. Like, that's okay, the only thing that still cook over I, there. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just saying. I don't. I don't see the longevity to justify. Do you it. think? I, I don't think every player deserves to have their jersey retired. It I has agree. to be the elite of the elite of the elite. Players, I, see Kyrie, I don't think he don't is. You, I don't Kyrie think Kyrie was ever the best point guard in the league when he played. He was had an argument for it. There was never a he is absolutely the best guard. Bro, in the league, I watched that. I watched that man cook Stephen Curry. No, I, I'm. But Steph and was that, always. And, and but he Steph was the was top always, guy, bro. He was the guy that year bro. when they won a championship. No, Steph I, was and, the no, guy. And I really, three and three I, time I, NBA All Star during his tenure there. Yeah, three-time NBA All Star during his ten year NBA All Star game MVP while he was over there, uh, wow. two-time All NBA third team while he was over there, NBA Rookie of the Year while he was mm-hmm. over there, All Rookie for, bro like that bro that is that is retired jersey quality I bro I feel like. I don't know. I mean, I feel like went to the Olympics, went to the World Cup, went to the FIBA, like bro, that could get those. We throw out Olympic stats to. Hey, I'm just saying, saying. he's decorated. We gonna talk. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. Like I'm saying, if you're making the case, now he might not be first ballot. I can't believe you don't want to. Oh no, I'm down. I'm talking Hall of Fame. I'm tripping. I'm down. He's for sure first ballot. He's still be sure first ballot. That's why I said. I just, I like I said, I think. And if a first ballot wouldn't get it. You think Jersey retired? I don't know. Like I said, just as the way if he spent his whole career in Cleveland and he's been playing on and he just went to Dallas like this year after his whole tenure in Cleveland, you have absolutely so no yours. So him. yours is based on years because of he left so soon. It was like, bro, he can't. How long do you? How long do you have to be on? You the at team least have to have. I think. Criteria. I think if you're gonna be on a team and have your jersey at least close to a decade, and also the impact has to include success as far as winning. In the was, team was too. Powell on the Lakers like, for a decade? Cause Cause like, the Lakers for, retired his jersey. That's what I said. Because, like, is, he, is Powell's number retired for them? Bro, I, feel been, like a, I feel like, Lakers? Really? Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people's jersey retired who hasn't who, who wasn't on teams for that long. Yeah, no. There's plenty of them. Kevin Garnett the Lakers, got his, his jersey retired like on the Celtics. Yeah, that's. And I get I, it. They won yeah, a champion. Yeah, that's 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 boss to be a nice. They shouldn't have did that. He was he not. Should, should, but the yeah, reason they did it is because it's Kevin Garnett. He brought the title to Boston. Yeah. Powell's been Lakers for six years. I don't know. 
Like I said, I don't know. Maybe I just don't. Paul Pierce maybe, too. Maybe I just don't. Paul see Pierce spent his entire career. Paul Pierce spent his whole career. Damn near. Oh no, I saw ninety eight. Nah, nah. Yeah. He, he ring chased. Yeah. I said, I said damn near. I got, said damn near. He, he got nasty. He got nasty at the end. Like he got filthy at the end. JJ K got his Brooklyn Nets jersey or something? Which he should have. He was he's the that was jersey. He's probably, yeah, that's probably the greatest yeah. guard in Nets history. But, yeah. but at the time it was he was only there for what? Was was it eight years? How many years was he there? Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Those Nets years. Were great years. No championship. But it's he finals took, appearances. He took finals appearances. Back to back, right? True. Now, at the end of the day, I do agree with him. He should get retired. <laughs> I, I don't disagree that it's arguable though. Yeah. It's definitely arguable. Yeah, I thought I think it's arguable. I don't think it's like a set in stone. Like I think it's yeah, set he retires today you know, and after, I because I think it's set Kyrie is stone. damn near like let's be honest, bro, top five point guards in his era. And when you think of Kyrie, you don't think of Mavs, you don't think of Brooklyn, you think of the Cavs. Yeah, I don't know. I think of him being a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We found it. <laughs> there it is. Right. That's why. No, but Kyrie was my favorite guard to watch. I think it was me. Bro, the best ball handler in my life. Yeah, he is. Look at the Kimbe Mutombo. Well, best ball handler in my life, bro. There's no nobody, championship. Nobody, yeah. nobody can nobody handle the ball like Kyrie. I'm just bro. saying, bro. There's, the, there's, the, the, Kyrie got a lot going, going, uh, going with them on that, bro. Damn, Rodney got his number two. I mean, is he? I guess he was part of the bad boy Pistons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I think he should get his jersey retired for sure. I think that is a, that is a no brainer. It's no brainer for me. Maybe, maybe I'm just gonna have to sleep on it and like really like okay, maybe, maybe I can come to the exception. Glide, glide, glide only did three. <laughs> you gotta go home and watch like. Mad Kyrie replays and you know don't watch the LeBron years though. See, the, see the, the LeBron years too though because it was time. Like I said, my my favorite he put the Kyrie team on clip, his back too. My favorite Kyrie clip before LeBron got there was when they was in the uh, the was it the yeah. freshman sophomore game or whatever when he was he, uh, he was busting. He made uh, <laughs> who the fuck did he make fall? Dog was on a Bledsoe. Mm-hmm. I think he made Bledsoe fall. <laughs> Jake did bring up a good point though that I was I was with y'all saying it was it was a no brainer until Jake brought up that point those, those years pre pre, pre LeBron were rough yeah Shit, LeBron were rough, three, three years before Kyrie mm-hmm. was rough that's a that's a I yeah don't he, they didn't go to the playoffs man that man he went to that, the finals that man ran from Cleveland bro he that, did no, that man ran no, from no, Cleveland he, he, he was comfortable he was comfortable coming back because Kyrie was there and Kevin Love was coming. Let me be honest. He was he was he nah, was comfortable Kevin Love got traded because he seen there was a point guard there. there that could handle the ball and could fucking score. Well, yeah, LeBron, 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 me, LeBron absolutely Shaq got Jersey good. retired in Orlando, which it should have. He was yeah. I was going to say that's, that's no. What I'm saying is, if we're basing off that's of years, no if, we're talk, if we're basing off of years and championships, so Shaq is a no brainer. No ring, no championship, right? I don't know. I think I think it's just the impact of Shaq when he was in Orlando. Shaq in Orlando is not comparable to Kyrie in, in Cleveland as far as impact on the game. Hmm. Come on now. You can admit that. Shaq was, Shaq was a fucking monster when he went to Orlando. He was. He was. Like I said, I got nothing but love for Kyrie. I just don't – I don't personally know if I see it. But if it happens, I'm think, going to be happy that it happened. You don't fuck with the heat thing the earth yeah, yeah. is flat. Well, no, that was, <laughs> that was just a funny moment. No, I'm fucking Kyrie. Bro, I'm, Kyrie, nah, Kyrie, nah, nah, Kyrie was probably nah, nah. my Take favorite. Take the jersey down. Bring it down. Don't Kyrie was probably my favorite guard of this era besides Steph. Yeah, Kyrie, like, Kyrie top, Steph's my top favorite. five. He top five. He top five, five for me. I, there's a couple of things that I don't like about Kyrie's game, but it's all right. Nah, he, I damn near, because the only thing that will make me really kind of move Steph to the side is because mm-hmm. of his defense. They hide him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. They hide Steph, Steph on Steph defense. Steph has his moments, but they definitely hide him. But they, they hide, hide Kyrie Steph. too. When they come, when he's playing, uh, they uh, hide Kyrie uh, now. When he's playing, no, not really. Not <laughs> how they hide Steph. No, no, they hide no, Steph. When Kyrie, when like when Steph plays a point guard that's just as good as him, they immediately sit Clay over. No, we not Steph, Steph Clay, was, Clay, was, Clay was definitely guarding Kyrie in those finals. As he should, because he knew what should happen. The, the minute Steph, yeah. the minute Steph did this on Kyrie, it was done. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyrie's gonna score. Kyrie Bucket definitely was gonna score. <laughs> Bucket every time. So yeah, so the real hot take is some of those names you named also shouldn't have their jersey retired. Ooh, who? Let's do that. Who? <laughs> who do I name? Did you say? Yeah. Kim Bay shouldn't have. Kim Bay was talking about. Nah, nah, he was he was throwing shit out out of the arena. He was known said, for that. Now I'm not saying he shouldn't have had to retire anywhere. Yeah, okay. that, I'm assuming that was Denver. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Yo, think so. <laughs> where, where else? Houston, for sure. Houston. Philly. He got, he got it, he do, but he got it in, uh, in uh, Atlanta Hawks. 
Yeah. So he got he he got multiple his jersey. I think, but it, it, you know what I'm saying. That's the Yeah, that's that's what that's, that's, what, what, I think that's it was. what I'm saying. The hot take is some of them probably shouldn't have got a retirement. They, they argue. You could argue them too. Mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, they said that Shaq was one of three players that was jersey retired by three different teams. So yep. That's kind of cool. Which, and Kobe that, Kobe's the only player with two numbers retired. Which is understandable. LeBron mm-hmm. will probably have two when he's done with the Lakers. They'll probably give it to him just because there's no hot take. Wait, but he never No, won. no, no, because Miami will give it to him, too. Did he wear He yeah. wore both. Miami and Cleveland. I think the only time he wore both is at Cleveland, right? But Miami might like, fuck around and get He's saying he he's going to get six in, six in Miami, yeah. 23 in Cleveland, and five. No, no. So Kobe's the only one on the same team. Yeah, the same team numbers. with two yeah. different numbers. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But the he only... Jordan, too. No. Jordan, they they Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. I thought they did. No. I thought they did. But the, what I'm saying is LeBron, didn't he do both six and 23? No, not in Cleveland. No. no, did, he, did, no. did he do it on any team? No. no. So then, yeah, so he wouldn't. But Kobe's also probably the only player who switched numbers like that. No, Jordan yeah. did. Jordan, Jordan had Jordan won one game. Jordan had no, 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 no. no, no. He switched one numbers one for six months. No one game. He yeah. still switched numbers. Yeah. Who said that? anything about? I didn't say anything about length of time. I said switch yeah. numbers. He switched numbers because his jersey was already retired. I'm just saying he no, switched I'm, numbers. No, though. but like, but to the point though, that it's true though. It's like. How many players are going to switch their numbers halfway through their career? I know that, so, but I'm just saying it's still fast as no, 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 I switch the number. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, no, I get you. For sure. <laughs> He's still. I see how many NBA players switch their numbers. Let's figure that out. I don't think anybody else did, but like, it's not not many. Unless they were forced to buy no, their team. Yeah, nobody, nobody to. who matter. Like, I don't yeah. think it's going to be nobody. <laughs> who, oh shit! Oh my god, I never do. <laughs> it's only like niggas who at the end of the bitch. Hey man, give me your number. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's rules and regulations to yeah. yeah. Jordan number yeah. twelve that one yeah. game. Yep. Yeah. I did not know that it was rules and regulations to Jersey yeah. number one. Well, because the thing, if they don't, don't put, they don't put rules yeah. on like, NBA niggas wearing number ninety nine and well, <laughs> okay, so that was that rule. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking they're like, all right, look here, if you this person, you can't wear like. Yeah. You know, it's fucked up. When I was a kid, I was told that we weren't allowed to pick numbers that didn't have one through five. Like we had to pick multiple because for the rest, when they call fouls, they're like one five, yeah, two five. I'm yeah. like, bro, what if I want to wear like eighty eight? <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? Eight eight. eight. <laughs> so, so you have to. So players have to ask to switch a number if mm-hmm. they want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now there's like. That's why. That's why. Uh, yeah. That's why AD couldn't switch. Because yeah. remember, LeBron was going to give up twenty thirty oh, for that's AD, right. yeah. and the league said no. So yeah. So the only so so the only three people who ever had just different numbers. And okay, it was LeBron. Yeah. When he got, uh, he went from six to uh, twenty three. Yeah, he went from six back to twenty three. And then of course Jordan yeah. and Kobe. And really, probably the probably reason he went to six is because Miami uh, retired Jordan number. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Yep. Damn, that's crazy. That's right. You know how huh. bad you got to be to get your ass bust so badly? He was like, yeah, yeah, your jersey here retired. <laughs> <laughs> My baby was like, bro, we don't even want nobody to wear that shit. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Funny, right? um, but, you know, and then I'm, the irony of LeBron to go there. <laughs> I'm going to jump around because we're already talking about LeBron. Uh-huh. That LeBron had a comeback game against the Clippers. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> I was just playing though. I ain't go that was a game that that was a game that he needed to. I, I didn't really see it. I ain't go that was a game. I would watch it live, but like I say, I seen it up or so I went and watched the, Same. Um, the playback. Okay. And that was a game that I felt like because of how the Lakers season's been going and and everything. Like one, LeBron's still been doing LeBron shit all the season anyway, so it wasn't really that uh, shocking to me. But it was one of those ones that was like, you know, this may be the fuel that helps push them for this next run for the Lakers and everything because you need stuff like that. And that's one thing that LeBron has always done on every team that he has yeah. is that when LeBron has those monster games and going crazy and things like that, it seems like people around him on the team, they do get fueled. And then it's, one, it's like they put forth a better effort or whatever. So, you know, I mean, it was it was, it was was impressive. You know, it was an impressive uh, um you know, uh, effort that Brown put out there in regards to that. And for them, again, Clippers, you know, it's still that battle of, of L.A. Like, no matter what, it, I know people always like to joke, like, it's always going to be a Laker town, but, like, Clippers has been chipping away at it every season. Every season yeah. is just a little bit. They might, they, they may not have made big leaps and bounds, but they have been chip, 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 you know what I'm saying? There's been some years where the Clippers have been better than the Lakers, to good quote. Mm-hmm. But I can say, uh, I'm going to say, um, I kind of I kind of uh, disagree well, not, I'm not going to say I disagree, but I feel differently about the uh, what LeBron did last night. Um, this is going to hurt my soul to give him props, but here we go. 
him being the age he is and putting the team on his back the way he did was mm-hmm. very impressive to see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. First of all, they were down twenty one. They was down. <laughs> <laughs> like and that's 21. why I didn't watch it. They was down. I, I literally, I literally didn't watch it because I kind of looked at the score and was like, oh, this, this game. Yeah. Uh, I expected that. <laughs> like, you're like, okay, the Clippers play the Lakers. I expect the Clippers to fucking go to work, which they were. Yeah. So, um, but to hear that they came back and in the fashion that he did it, and then watching the um the playback and then just kind of seeing like the you know the replays and everything like that, you know, they're showing all his highlights. I was like, damn, he really was, he was really getting it in. Like, yeah. he looked like um, like he you know time machine. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? Like he was hitting certain kind of shots. He had like everything start falling for him. Like it was good to see, and I agree with you on. They needed that. They needed that. Yeah. They needed and, um, that. Fair. Because the conversation has been, it's a new team in town. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, that you for, know what and, for that to happen, yeah. it, looked, it looked. I'm sure they feel better now. Yeah. Uh, Darvin Ham was hugging him super tight <laughs> because he know his job was alive. His job was alive. That's his job was alive. That's job bro, alive Darvin, boy. He had Steve Nash. Bro, listen for real. He he definitely gave him that Steve Nash. With Kevin, uh, <laughs> Kevin Durant hood, like, bro, you saved my life. But thank you. And then, you know, uh, what's funny is uh, to lean in on, on the jokes that's been going around. I said, this didn't help Brian Steroids case. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. I see that. It's like, see? See? The wildest thing, bro. Brian I was like, when I saw that, I'm like, bro, y'all, now y'all reaching. Y'all reaching, G. He's, everybody swear LeBron's on PEDs every season. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why I've been hearing it louder this season though. I don't know because what it is. Because of the fact that he at the age he is, he really ain't, he, 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 if you think about it, bro, he really ain't showed too much of a slowing down. Like every now and then you the see only time, the, the time that he shows where it slows down is when he truly has to do everything himself. Yeah. Because back yeah. in the day, he could do that, and you, he wouldn't have seen that win it until overtime. Yeah. Where now, once the fourth pitch, you're like, all right, we can clearly see LeBron's doing everything. Yeah, yeah. And now we, you know what I'm saying, yeah, it's, it's, it's showing the wear and tear, yeah. But uh, Diz put a, a stat in the, in the group chat that this is the last battle for L.A. in the same arena. Mm, yeah, yeah, because they got, they got the new joint coming out. They got out. the new joint going out. So, yeah. there's, so maybe, you know, LeBron is one of those people, he likes stories. So maybe that helped fuel him too. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely a storybook. He's a storybook dude, right? That's all he do. He always. Can we get the Staples Center back, bro? I'm tired of it. You don't want the crypto? Big crypto. You don't want the crypto? That shit did. Bro, I think what's what's crazy is so they um, people always say this like you know I'm, who was that John Legend that named his album after his wife? Yeah. And it was like when you name something after something, right, and it fails, then it's like. Like, uh, like you know, what I'm saying, cause now your your John name, like, like the out, like you know, John Legend album, the album name of his wife didn't do yeah, so good, yeah, so yeah. they was like, damn. So now people are saying your wife fell, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with crypto not being where it was when they they, they tried to jump on the hype train in the crypto yeah. arena, and the crypto been going down, 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 yeah. down. Yeah. It's yeah. like crypto right. fell, and it's like damn. And now the Lakers not doing so good. It's like yo. <laughs> Y'all need to go Staples. back. Y'all need to do a name change. Staples. 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 They still a business. The Staples a business? Y'all still got money. What would be the crazy... Well, <laughs> what would be the Office Depot? Or <laughs> I don't know. The, the Office the Depot. The Target Center. Center. If you had an arena... Well, who would you want your arena to be sponsored JJ's. by? JJ's. <laughs> you want a JJ's arena? <laughs> Let's get it. JJ's arena, nigga. Jay, who you going with? What arena would you go with? Fish and chicken and fries. Little <laughs> pepper fries on the man. Say, when they hit a hundred, uh, when they get a hundred, yeah. everybody get free? Free, free pants for everybody. <laughs> we got a hundred points, man. I free wings for everybody. You're here to I boo you. Don't <laughs> <laughs> me, dog. That's amazing, bro. We hate no JJ. What about you, Jake? Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to have to go with. I don't want to do something. I was going to say the Chick fil A arena, but that shit. I don't know. I don't <laughs> like the kids. You ain't going to be able to have games on Sundays. I don't like people. I don't like shit. I ain't going to be able to have games on Sundays. Great sandwiches, bad ownership. Nah, bro. If I'm going something local, I'm going like. I'm going to the Geek Set Arena. How about that? I'm going with the hey, old Geek Set Arena. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Who? Who? I gotta go Waffle House Arena. <laughs> I gotta go Waffle like House Arena, bro. I like how you think. No, it's not because it's gonna listen here. If fans get to acting up, I'm sending Waffle House people down there. Like, I, I, hey, I, I, players, I, 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 don't worry, y'all hey, good. You gotta fight to get right. in. Right. Hey, <laughs> hey, players, y'all good. We got. We got. We don't even need security. Our 
it ain't no security. It's gonna yeah, be nothing but Waffle House employees walking around in black Air Forces. Right. Like, what are you thinking? Right. We're going to go Cousins Arena. Cousins Arena. Cousins Arena. Cousins Arena. Cousins Arena go hard. That's hard. <laughs> um, speaking of also creating fake stories, bro, I don't know what that is about, again, Milwaukee, our, all of our headlines are salacious for no reason. Yeah. So they're trying to make it seem like Dame is unhappy. Yeah. Like he needs, like he need, he need, he needs some loving. He needs some women. He needs some Jezebels. He might need that. I mean, he might need that, but that's not what he said. They took, no. uh, they like, you know, they took his quote of saying, like, you know, regular normal shit, like anybody would, away from their homes. Like, look, I ain't got a lot of family out here. A lot of, like, like I said, what what they, what they said in the article did. She was like, you know, you, around these times, normally I would just go. Go to mom's, mom's crib, crib. Yeah. and stuff like that. All his family was in Portland. Yeah, yeah, in Portland. And that went like, dang, unhappy in Milwaukee. He's lonely. It was like, gee. We knew he didn't want to go to Milwaukee. <laughs> like, we knew he didn't want to be there. Like, what, like, what is... Uh, and yeah, we, didn't, we know he didn't want to be there, but he only requested a trade to get the fuck out of there. Like, For real. I, I, I want, I'm anxious to see what the headlines are going to be if we win. Bro, we the villains, dog. It's, they going to come up with everything. Everything, all everything, time. everything we do, like, I'm noticing... Our coaches, they said the wrong shit. Like when when you were kind of bringing up what Doc was saying, yeah, it's like people took that interview, twist and turn that. Giannis said something, twist and turn that. Yeah. Dave said something. That's how it goes. They grab what they want to yeah. to help the narrative of the Bucks being the bad team. This is the Bucks are getting the Bucks the, aren't a good team in real life. The Bucks are, are getting like the Lakers narrative now, where it's like they find the negative shit. Out of I don't everything. even think the Lakers got this. No, I'm just saying as far as like the Lakers, <laughs> like the Lakers aura, as far as you know, I think you I always think, hear negative shit about the Lakers. It's like they are just really. Like upset that it's a small market team with this kind of power, bro. <laughs> they, like, they hate it, bro. Like, they, they hate it they, so much. They can't stand the fact that Giannis chose to stay. They hate that. They they try everything in their power to get him out of Milwaukee, bro. They're gonna talk all him the rumors. They're gonna talk him into his opt out, so bad. bro. Because you know what? Here's because I I started going back on just like just because I, I wanted to do a quick little research, right? So you hear like Stephen A. always talking about like oh, who wants to go to Milwaukee for the championship yeah. and stuff like that, right? Yeah. But when Indiana and Paul George was running that hard, Stephen yeah. A. never brought up weather or anything no. like that, right? No, of all not. all of these small markets, Midwest, 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 Midwest City, yeah, Midwest City, same same. Same weather, same weather patterns and everything. And so I started looking at all the small market like championships and like teams that was running. And I started like, like rewatching sports media yeah. around that time. And I'm just like, I don't know, like, why do y'all hate Milwaukee so bad? Because other small market teams didn't get this much negativity nah. and hate they feel during like their run. Don't, we don't deserve star players. And it's just like, team. damn, what do we do? Now, now, <laughs> shit. Man, when Michael Michael Red was here cooking, I wasn't hearing shit. I never heard. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, bro. So Michael like, Red needs to get out of they Milwaukee. They want Milwaukee to be the feeder system. Like every once yeah. in a while, you draft a guy who develops into a star, and then they yeah. leave. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what yep. they want. It's yeah. crazy, man. It's crazy. So yeah, man. Just just these r random ass, crazy ass. Dave came, and man. Dave came out and said oh. that mm -hmm. he was cool. So no, not Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Uh, Kobe. Goes Kobe here, man. He hears. He hears. Trying to talk with us, bro. Yeah. But, um, he was like, "Yeah, this is retired." They really, <laughs> they really feel like anytime a player says anything in Milwaukee, it's he wants to leave. He doesn't want to be there. Like that's that's the vibe. But Dan came out and said, "Hey, y'all tripping." I did yeah. hear that. <laughs> Chill fuck out. I am yeah. happy where I am. I just miss my kids. And, and then, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> like, bro. Dave, Dave has never been cryptic like that, bro. Dave, nah. Dave will tell you right off, like, "Hey, I'm, I'm not thinking about leaving." Oh shit! Maybe I'm thinking about leaving now. Yeah. All right, this is what I want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, if this person who has a history of saying shit, like straight out and letting you know what it is, y'all don't have to grasp for it and try to find it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's so, what's throwing me all the way off. It's just like, why are y'all trying to create the story? It's like, and here's the thing: we're not a drama-filled city or team. Mm -hmm. So it's like we like, why are y'all trying to make these storylines? We not that's not what we, like that's not our culture here. Yeah. Like there's certain teams whose culture like it's just like every time they in the headlines is something crazy yeah. or somebody gonna say something you can tell that they're beefing it. Like that's never been the Bucks makeup. So it's just like why now y'all want this to be? No, but yeah. also, no, I'm starting to notice that, and I, I I'm starting to kind of really kind of put it in my own head and just kind of step back. Like you know what? I'm still gonna give y'all shit for y'all bullshit, but I'm starting to realize. This what comes with having a great team. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like this is this is a part. This is a part of the whole mm -hmm. being in contention and always being the yeah. top of a. You know what I'm saying. 
the top of the teams are on the east or west. Yeah. Like this is what comes with that. Like so, imagine how Laker um, culture was. Lo- yeah. Laker culture was when there was rumors about Kobe possibly leaving. Yeah, and you know oh, what I'm saying Shaq, where Shaq mm-hmm. was getting ready to leave. Like now, nah, this is what comes with this kind of aura. Yeah, you right. We have yeah. that kind of. Even though we ain't did shit yet, yeah. when you look at the Bucks and you see what we've done so far, and then you add Dame to that, mm-hmm. we give that vibe of we deserve it. Yeah, this is what comes with it. So we gotta accept the hate, man. We do yeah. let us accept some of the hate, too. <sighs> yeah, true. And realize that this is the kind of shit that's gonna come with this, right? <laughs> right. I say the, the only the only like justified negative that I could see is the way the AG Doc Rivers situation kind of came about. Yeah, Whereas, oh yeah, like, that, 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 that was justified. Was, that was definitely. Like, I'm like, okay, I can understand that, but like. Bro, Dame, yeah, he left his and whole that, family yeah, to be yeah. here. Of and course, then, he's gonna be one of his The shit AG here, doc, right? the AG doc shit. The reason why that it was just so much in like a week. It was AG got fired, Doc got hired, but also the story of how Doc got hired. Then yeah. also now Doc is the chan- is the all uh, the all star championship coach. I mean, uh, yeah. coach all star all star game coach and everything. So it was just like. Yo, this and, is a, and the way that he handled the media yeah, during yeah, the All Star yeah. break, like bro, this is a day. whole like, lot that's happened in one week, and then we had a whole week just to sit in it, yeah, like true, <laughs> but no that's games, true. like yeah. yeah. So like you said that that was deserved and everything like yeah. that. Um, uh, taking it back to Clippers though, Clippers unveiled their new jerseys. I like these jerseys. Bro, way these shits are cool. Than, uh, I fuck with them. They way better than uh, I like them a lot. I like them better. They, they, yeah, because remember that was four or five weeks ago. Was, I don't know, maybe maybe more a month ago when we went over uh, jerseys yeah. mm-hmm. and everything. No like, team logo. We uh, team logo. logo. That's what yeah. it was. How you like the team logo? I, I, I like, like it. it. And I, like I, it. I just found out I ain't gonna front. I'm just gonna sound crazy. When I think Clippers, I literally think of niggas getting faded up. I Me didn't too. know it was a boat. I just found out I, today. I found that out when they unveiled the, when, when they unveiled the um the what's the name? I didn't well, know that. One of the one of the I pages. Know, bro. Oh, that's so one, funny. One of the pages <laughs> they explained it. I'm thinking the Clippers. These niggas be hey, barber. Hey, shit. I was right there with you. That's what I did not know they until, until, until they bro. broke until they broke down bro, the new logo. That's the shit I've ever heard. Until they broke down. And you know what's funny though? Because I've heard that when I was growing up. Like I heard that, but this is I haven't probably heard. That shit yeah, like 15 nah, years. Nah, we are. Right here. That's so funny. I did not think, I did not know they were talking about the damn boat, bro. That's that too funny, man. I did. Yeah, yeah. You do or you didn't? Yeah. I'll see you then. Right. That's the surprise. Now, that's the surprise that Dish ain't know. I definitely know that. But here's the thing. Because I knew they like Buffalo. Weren't they, didn't they come from Buffalo? San Diego. San Diego, San Diego. San Diego that's right. Bro, here's yeah. the thing. Outside, okay. I, will, I, I don't even I, I can name a type of boat like I know vessels and tugboats and fucking yeah, tugboats <laughs> and cruise ships and stuff and I wouldn't even consider a submarine a boat speed boats <laughs> speed boats <laughs> like I don't know ships I, I could not tell you, I could not see a ship and be like hey that, that right there that's a clipper right there like I do I do fuck with the logo though yeah. I fuck with it the, the mm-hmm. boat face forward with the I wish they would have did it like, earlier though we they could have did this. And I do like how they did Well they had the, they, they had a couple of things. That, it's like they had milestones. They're like, okay, yeah. first we gotta stop being the trash yeah. Los Angeles <laughs> yeah, team. Yeah, 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 now, yeah. okay, now we not just now we not the trash Los Angeles yeah. team. Now we gotta at least be we at least win a championship or yeah, compete right. for a championship. Yeah. So now they got there and they're like, Okay, now we got here. Now we gotta have a, we gotta have a couple of years of, of doing this. Yeah. And then <laughs> now we can finally rebrand. <laughs> yeah, I've always, I've always rocked with like the the curse of Los Angeles that they always had. Yeah. I've always fucked with that. Yeah, like yeah, I always yeah. like that, and I like that they re, they still incorporated that. So and actually, was, I like they uh they they West Side uh the one yeah. with the old English, the yeah. old English. Yeah. that that one was hard. Yeah. That, that's my favorite Clippers. Dude, that's, dude, the Clippers, the Clippers I like the Clippers. <laughs> as far as a team uniform, I've always liked the Clippers like unis over more the Lakers. Really? Personally, uh, I, I, just, I, I, I like the Lakers just because of the history and how cool, like the purple and gold is yeah. cool to us and that. But I've always so the Clippers unis. The, 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 growing up, there's 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 few there's there's like five teams who like their minimalist like jersey mm-hmm. to me is the best. So like Lakers because of their color scheme and mm-hmm. they don't have to do much. Like I like how theirs right the the Knicks jersey. I always like the Knicks jersey. That's Which fair. one? Just their, their red or OG. Just, yeah. okay. just the orange, black, and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Orange, white, white, blue. orange, white, and blue. Yeah. Um, who else is on that? Like Spurs. And even though Spurs do got a little bit of flair with that with that that uh, thing, but I, do, I always I always like the Spurs. That, that that's always a hard one. I don't think the Spurs ain't got no flair to me. The Spurs, I feel like, I feel like the they're, Spurs, they're, well, Spurs, Spurs are like no. black and white. The Spurs because of, I'm saying because of that because of that that, that yeah. the Spurs. whatever the Spurs yeah. The Spurs. 
But yeah, I, I, that's a, that's always yeah, one of my see, favorite jerseys. The Bulls. Uh, the Bulls. Yep, the Bulls. The Bulls, Bulls kinda, is iconic. Iconic. Yeah. Yep. So it's like so that so that's where I put it. Like like I'm not. I would have never said like the Lakers got the best design or we anything. Gonna but that, that, we yeah. gonna have to do that as a topic. Our best, our top five jerseys. Ooh, not not this episode. Year, we gonna have to do it next year, week. Yeah. I was definitely gonna go to my best, my favorite Lakers jersey, but I'll do that. We do that next episode. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about yeah, that. That's fair. So, you know, like, this is a heavy, heavy LeBron uh, podcast. But Jake, yes. I want to hear your LeBron versus Jordan this is a debate. topic that I saw and it made me laugh. And I, I and like, I and I feel like it's, but I feel like you about to piss us off today. No, it's not, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna piss you off. I just, it's a, it's a debate question that I saw and I thought it was very interesting. All okay. Right. Okay. So, take LeBron's career. Mm-hmm. All of his stats, everything is exactly the same. You take Jordan's career, everything is exactly the same. The championships, everything like that. The three-peats, all this and that. But LeBron is in the league first. Is Jordan still the GOAT? If LeBron is already in the league, did all that he's done, retired, and then Jordan comes in the league and does everything that he did, is Jordan is Jordan still the GOAT or is LeBron the GOAT? So for me, I'm going to say Jordan is still the GOAT because my debate of with the with Jordan over LeBron always is that championship run. But LeBron would have had ten finals before LeBron. Jo- they would have said they would have said Jordan I, didn't I, get the ten finals. But I, so for me, that's, and, and that's I'm trying to say for me, yeah. I don't reward just getting there. I don't hold that that high. I don't hold LeBron right. just getting there ten that high because I'm a, when I'm thinking of totality and goatness, you mm-hmm. have to finish the job. Uh, and so that's what I, that's for I, me. I, when Jordan I heard the, the when I heard the debate, I was like, I'm taking. LeBron now, because if you think about it, LeBron's stats trump Jordan's in almost every stat. But right? again, as far as so he's got the stats, he has more finals appearances. I think they have the same number of MVPs. I think. But then the debate. LeBron's got more. I think Jordan has more. Jordan, Jordan. okay. But see, the, 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 again, but, like, yeah. but, the, but then the still the the asterisk in that is if we're doing like I said, same thing, mm-hmm. same thing. LeBron still would have had a longer career than Jordan. So I'm still I'm still going to compartmentalize it in regards to that. Like yes, LeBron got his stats is uh, uh, astronomical, and he's still and 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 he's he's hitting on all those mm-hmm. on all those. But I'm gonna I'm still gonna say, well, shit, he, look I how think, long he was. I think in the, the longevity helps LeBron's argument. And then also, to be consistently my good. thing is okay. So I know you said uh, if LeBron came in first mm-hmm. and did everything that he did. It's just that dog. They played in different leagues. No, I'm just saying like a mat so. Like I said, don't take the just don't, don't, don't just take don't take the competition. Don't take just take it's LeBron's still, accolades me, and stats versus Jordan's accolades and for stats. Me, it's but if Jordan. LeBron was in the league and done, and then Jordan entered, it's league. still it's still Jordan because of the fact that he it, uh, now if you saying you're saying like we reversed their careers or are you just saying the time period? no like no so like because Jordan everything everything that LeBron has done is his career yeah and everything Jordan has he done. did it first okay. and then Jordan came in and did everything okay. that he so did. for me. The things that cement Jordan for me is the fact that he did it on one team. He didn't. He didn't go and team up with Magic Johnson and Charles Barkley. He was in Chicago. That's mm-hmm. fair. He did it with that team. Yep. I mean, you he still had. Kind of, and, he kind of still had a super yeah. team. And let's hear. Well, at least half of that team was drafted though. Yep. And and here's the thing. Was it the whole starting? Front? I mean, I mean, if if you talk about the key people to that championship run. Horace Grant was brought in on a trade and so now when we talking like <laughs> when we when I say key I'm talking like the you talking about like Pippen. Jordan yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan no Pippen yeah, no I guess, yeah like don't get me wrong I'm not saying Horace Grant trash no shit like yeah. that but he was brought in as a piece he wasn't yeah. brought in like as like the fucking foundation well, so you know Robin, what I'm saying though. Robin was brought Robin, in Robin piece. was a piece too but he was a big addition he was a huge yeah. addition yeah you know what I'm saying so but when when I when I when I say Jordan I'm thinking. The fact that he did it in Chicago, he didn't really super, he didn't really team up with the people who was like his direct competition. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah, and, and again, I, I still also <laughs> like, okay, even though LeBron has all those accomplishments and stats and everything like that, I still think about even just the lay of the land. So again, we're just, we're just swapping it around mm-hmm. and everything, and I'm just thinking about how the league was and everything, and there was, it was, there was fear of Jordan. Where I feel like most people in the league, and again, it may just be culture. I would say outside of that Miami run, people was not fearing Bron like that. I don't know. That's, people, that people was not a, Miami. People feared Bron. I, I give them a, that. There was a Stephen A. J. 
J.J. Redick argument about that, where J.J. Redick was like, bro, are you trying to tell me that people didn't fear LeBron <laughs> like that? Like, That's what I said. Miami run they did. I'm going to say. I'm gonna I, say they didn't. I, 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 I was going to say, I think, if I we, think if people we talk, fear LeBron. If we talking fear, LeBron was is more of a happy kind of guy. No, yeah, for sure. He's more of a happy kind of player. Like I've literally heard stories of players who said they came in the league as rookies and tried to say mm-hmm. hi to Jordan before the game yeah. because, of KG. course, everything was all happy. KG, yeah. KG's outside, whole personality outside, is because of that. Outside one of basketball, yeah. we see Jordan and we see the commercials, the light mics. I met Michael Jordan before. He was cool to me, but, he, but he, I could I could tell that he really wasn't a nice person. Yeah, yeah. oh no, no, like sure. I think the only reason he <laughs> yeah, said yeah, anything to us because we was kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he probably only treated us all right because we was kids. Which but, is funny because them you know fuck them kids. Yeah, that, yeah. With, with that, yeah. 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 So I like I've heard stories of players coming out like, oh Michael Jordan, Mister Mister Jordan, I look up to you. He like, yeah, shut the fuck up and bust your ass. Mm-hmm. LeBron would do that. But again, that's <laughs> LeBron, so, LeBron would be like, "Oh, what's up, young fella?" Right, but the, yeah, the time yeah, that LeBron playing. did that was on Miami when he became the villain. That was the last time. That was for fans, though. That one for the players. He did that for the fans. Yeah. But the fan, but but people, no, no, I but I, I remember time, hearing stories of people talking about how like, "Yo, Brown was different during that Miami run." They were saying that he was doing like, like he was a villain. He was, for us. he was, yeah. he was, he he was, was a villain for us, us, but he wasn't fucking with a lot of people people on the court. At that. He was like, Brown was on. He they was, just, they just he was playing like, like, the I think, I think LeBron's first Cleveland run. Nah, it's like, bro, because remember, like people didn't fear. He was single hand, bro. He was single handedly taking that team. That if you took him off, you saw what happened. When but the, but you got to remember, the, you got to remember the stories around that. Yes, he, yes, that that was happening. But people was doubting him because remember he. Yeah, he, the media was doubting him. No, but the even he was in fear. No, nah, people him, because that that was his knock always. It was like, look, all right, this kid got all this talent and everything, but he ain't. It ain't resulting to a championship. Like it, it, it wasn't a fear there because they there know. wasn't a dominant. He went to the finals. There in year wasn't four, a, bro. That, that's, yeah, that's going, a he year. went to the but he, that wasn't a dominant year for the Cavs. They went to the finals. I think they were first in the East. <laughs> I think that's a dominant year. Pretty sure they were first in the East that year. I want to say. They went to the finals. Uh, what was that? The year they got the year yeah. they got swept by the Spurs. They might know. have been first in the East, but I don't, I don't know. Being first of again. They were second. So actually, they, 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 Boston, were second, right? they were second in their division. Were they, were they second to Boston? Uh, that was the Boston. Or Boston was, was uh, first. Who was right behind them? Man? How, Orlando, how, how, Orlando, how, Orlando, how, Orlando was first? Time, yep. Oh, Detroit. 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 Too, yeah. oh, right. They did get feared that year because... Remember, everybody was like, Detroit is the monster, and he dismantled Detroit. Yeah. That he year. scored 25 straight. He dismantled yeah. He just scored 25 year. straight on yeah. him to close that game out. I don't know. I, I've always like didn't really like that because... Because I think Reddick said it the best. He was like, "Dude, do you think NBA players really want to play LeBron in a final series? Like, absolutely not." Shit, you think players really want to play Jordan? No, I'm. I think. 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 I and and really thought that they was like the bronze stopper. Like you, didn't, there was not that many people who really believed. There was some people who kind of conformed. It was like, look, yeah, he, it's Jordan. It's yeah, be, yeah, that's yeah. Fair. you know it's what I'm saying. Fair. So I don't know. I, I still like I said for me, I would still have Jordan in that debate. That's fair. I would still have Jordan. I feel like a lot of people still would. I don't. I just think if the timelines swapped and LeBron was LeBron's career was started and done before Jordan entered the league, LeBron would retire as the all-time leading scorer. All these rebounds, assists, the ten finals appearances. Like I feel like people would look at it in a different light before but, Jordan existed. So here's our, here's where I here's where I think it would be. That's that's just how. Here's I where think. I think it would be. Yeah, not, not, I see that. But here's where I think it would be a more slight against LeBron if it went reverse, because then they're going because then they're going to take then they would take LeBron's full career mm-hmm. right and. 10 champion, ten, going to the championship 10 times, not winning all that time, and then Jordan comes and do it in a shorter time period, win six. But people, also, and people going to be like, shit, I, I get, yeah, you was in there long enough, but look at this rookie, or look at this new cat who came in, did it shorter on one team. Yeah. Three P twice. I don't know. I, think that, I feel like that, I think I feel like that would amplify it more. Came back. But, right. No, I think there's a crazy story, because if you think about just the way that Jordan's career played out, mm-hmm. Would the NBA at least like let him come back for that second run? If he was beasting like, like that, hell yeah! If it was the way that it was going, he would face the league. That's so. Yeah, we're just switching it, but like if we're just switching it, but they still are who they are. Yeah, he'd face the league. Yeah. That's true. He could do what the fuck he wants. That's true. LeBron could leave right now and come back if he wanted. He definitely could. Yeah. Le- if LeBron decided to say, or if LeBron had a gambling problem and was like, "Hey, yeah. I'm leaving for a year <laughs> and I want to come back," 
They ain't gonna say no. They go welcome them back. He's yeah. the face of the league. Yeah, I just I don't know. I thought it was an interesting debate that I was seeing. Oh, this is every interesting. And I was debate. like, I was like, it's actually kind of like I said, because you think of all the accolades that that obviously uh, LeBron's gonna get his flowers when he's finally done. Oh yeah, he like, definitely will. So I think the yeah. things that LeBron has done in his career are because he's still playing. People aren't like. Like looking at it closed in, like damn, he really did all. Like he's mm-hmm. the all-time leading scorer. Yeah, and people like I, I know well, a lot of people like really don't think about it. You know why? It's because throughout his whole career, they was doing so many small ass stats for him that was well, like yeah, there's yeah, definitely yeah, a LeBron. There's LeBron stats, stats right? Because here's the thing: yeah. if they if they didn't do all those LeBron stats. Then people wouldn't be tired about hearing him break records That's because because he was breaking records that we was like, well, we wasn't even thinking about yeah. who had the best game on a Tuesday in fucking February. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, just kept on doing it. His father in the media though, huh? He's like his father in the media. I, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm not. I'm not blaming LeBron, but I'm saying that's why. Yeah. Why the people LeBron are not. That's why games. people are seeing it as like in the, in the LeBron mm-hmm. Jordan conversation has become the the young boys. Mm-hmm. Old head conversation. Yeah, oh, it always has. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be forever. Damn near shows your age. Like I've yeah. literally had this conversation in barbershops and everything like yeah. that, and I've I've literally sat back like, damn, I'm an old head. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like they don't understand. Like younger younger people or just young cats in general might look at us saying Jordan and be like, whatever. I yeah. seen I seen on YouTube. Be all right. Like, yeah, they yeah. weren't they weren't really there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They so will. it's it's hard to read. Like I mean, his shoes is decent. Like, yeah. You know what I'm and saying? Going, going back watching footage, you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 he'll get it, but you, it, like I said, they don't it hit the same. same. Same thing. Like it like definitely said, doesn't hit the same. Bro, yeah. same thing about like I said with, with with Bron. Like I get it. Right right now, but watch. Twenty years from now. People going with, like it's not going to hit the same like don't no it's just it's just that's how it is yeah and we could be wrong because it's a new era now it could be yeah it's a new era now like the whole social media shit like I feel like social media well kind of keeps you keeps your your highlights a little bit more like it almost puts your shit in the refrigerator yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was saying? I would say yes and no because you already started hearing people trying to coin who's the next Bron and everything like that yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and again like. What made a lot of my shift change against, like, you know, I remember I was hardcore heavy hate against Bron. But then you start seeing, again, same thing. Bron is the old head in the league. Yeah. So now you're hearing young cats saying shit like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, saying stuff. And I'm like, all right, look here. I know I hated on Bron, but I'm like, yo, y'all keep- like, hey, let's not take yeah. that away like, from Bron. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not take that away from Bron. Dog who's on Memphis. Uh, Lights can't do. Dylan Brooks. Yeah. Dylan Brooks. Yeah. You like, know what I'm saying? It's super disrespectful. I'm like, bro. And then you hear people say, and, 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 and then even, <laughs> right, and then and then even some of the comparisons are like of the stuff, right? You know, what I'm saying people saying, yeah, you know, Paul George is my goal. No hate against Paul George, but it's just like, nah, that's really not the conversation. Like, there's there's a few players that if, in in this area we're talking against Bron. I don't think Paul George since since the after the Indiana run, I don't think he was in that combo no more. You know, sometimes so, you know, sometimes it's players that come along that people just really fuck with. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, Paul, like, PG's definitely one of them. Outside of like my goat being Kobe, it's 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 certain players who I just really fuck with that some might not. Like I, I, I was a real fan of like people like Brandon Roy. Yep. Yeah, Brandon Roy. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Like I fuck with Brandon Roy. And people yeah. be like, what? My dog. Bro, until Brandon Roy was Kobe, a, Brandon Roy until, was a bucket. Until our yeah. until our until the EMB group chat. I didn't know people didn't have Penny as high as I had them. Yeah. I, I got Penny high up for me. Yeah. And yeah. when I bought that up, niggas, niggas looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, wait, but what? The only, the only thing that stopped me is because his career. His career yeah. so mm-hmm. short. Yeah, that's, so that's the only and, that, thing. and that's unfortunate with like a lot of guys like that. Because mm-hmm. I know there's like people that put Grant Hill on a high level. but I'm hey, Him too. Mm-hmm. Like, him too. Like, yeah. was Grant Hill was cold. Grant Hill yeah. was cold as a bitch. Grant Hill was raw, bro. Yeah, but you know, there's just some dudes that just... Dude, that's just how the shit goes. I feel like Paul George, because I've, like, I've, I've heard I've heard young like young cats people who hoop and stuff would be like, no, nah, Paul George, Paul. I'm like, yeah. Bro, what when PG was awesome. in Indy going against Miami, bro, <laughs> I was fucking. I was, PG, like, I was all in. I was all in on the PG. I was train. like, bro, PG is the second best player. The injury, in the league, bro. That fucking injury. Bro. I remember I remember injury. I was we I was we watching that together. Yeah. 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 I just I just remember, bro. Cause I because at that yeah, time at that time, that was like probably the height of my LeBron hate. Yeah. And so I was like, bro, I was in Miami at the time. Yeah. yeah, I really wanted I really wanted Indy to knock them niggas out, bro. Yeah. I really wanted that shit. 
shit to happen. That was an exciting series. It was. Like, <laughs> like Lance Stevens. No, Lance, 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 Lance one of the players. Lance one of the players. Heart. Oh. He broke their heart. He, Lance is one yeah. of the players that like, I yeah. fuck with that. Like maybe a lot of people don't, but Lance is one of the players. Yeah. You know, uh, Nate Robinson was one for me. One of the players. I I, just, I always fuck with Nate Robinson. I was pissed off that Boston didn't extend his contract when they was obviously done and out, but then yeah. he at least extended that series. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, bro, there's no way y'all not gonna give him the yeah. the, the contract. That's you know fair. what I'm saying? I, but yeah, Nate Robinson was one of the ones. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of players like that. There's definitely yeah. a lot of players like that. Um, so MB talking about coming back. Yeah, I saw that today. Before yeah. before this season. Yeah, MB. Oh. I saw I saw that he did an interview and said that he's regardless of how the 76ers season. Which he should back. like that that part. I respect that because yeah. I'm like no matter what. You know he yeah. he seems like the type of dude to hang it up. Yeah, yeah. But I like I because I'm like yo, you still you or still he doesn't have fans. seem like it. It seems yeah. like a thing that he would do. Like, like if this is like still your team, player. you still yeah. have fans. I get it if you're if you can't play, then don't play. But if you can play, bro, just get out there. Where are they placed right now? Are they, are they still in the uh, playoff contention? Mm, that I don't know. I think fifth. Fifth. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they still. I don't know. Yeah, because I mean, it, it, it would have to take a lot. I feel like because they was, I mean, they was within that one, two, three. Yeah. To fall off that hard, bro, yeah. that would have been crazy. Yeah. I mean, that would have truly shit. meant that this team, this what? team is Ooh, truly shit. trash. Yeah. This it's, team, okay. that would mean this team is truly trash outside of NBA. But looking at that roster, though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, they got some good players and shit like that. But yeah. let's let's be let's be honest here. Like, NBA is the heart of that, that team. Just oh, yeah. itching to fall down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so that shit is like, anyway, so, it's a fucking. We gonna have to have a, like a, a counter on the screen and shit for yeah, how long it takes to fall. So for dog being, uh, mm-hmm. for them being at six, ain't ain't really like. It's not. It's not bad. Not, not bad because, like I said, worst case scenario, they fall into the. Uh, the uh, nah, I was gonna say playing, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, playing, playing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing I'm, bro, playing and in season be throwing me off yeah, all yeah. the fucking play, time. Play yeah, the worst case scenario, they fall into the play in, and shit. They get him be back. And if they can play it, nobody want to play them. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Bro, nobody wants the no, problems. That's true. Yeah. Dog is, he's insane. Yeah, so yeah. All right, well, let's jump over to the NFL. Uh, finally, we you got know some, what I'm saying? Three weeks, of in, three weeks of NBA, but uh, the NFL salary crap, salary cap increased. Salary crap, you got to <laughs> Salary crap. <laughs> yeah, the salary cap increased by thirty million. What, what, what is this? What, what is? So we already have. Are we already on the board of saying that this is definitely going to impact the Chiefs? Definitely. But okay. let's let's talk about our team. How does this impact the Packers? Um, uh, it, it helps us. With a Jordan Love extension, yep. and mm-hmm. it also gives us some wiggle room to either re-sign or, I won't say test in free agency because the Packers just don't. I'm praying that this year we we're not. I, I hope over, bro. that this was bro, like we a flag have, saying, <laughs> please nah. spend some goddamn <laughs> money. Nah, we're not. I understand that y'all niggas love drafting. That's y'all shit. That's y'all shit. But though. we just up. Hey, the bag is on the floor. Spend <laughs> some money. I mean, spend some fucking money, dog. I think if I think with the I think if the Packers are smart, what they do is they they really don't test the free agent unless yeah. there's unless there's certain a guy that absolutely they know that they want to go get that mm-hmm. as long as they don't overspend. Because remember, just because the just because the salary cap gone up, Jordan Love's about to get paid. Of course, as he should. And we also have to pay all these young motherfuckers that are on our offense. That's coming true. Up. So, That's so true. it's like Watson's coming up, Dobbs is coming up within the, like the next year or two. So it's like all of that type of shit. So it's like now this is the year where all the people we just named they got to earn the checks this year. No, I agree. They got to earn it. They got to earn it. Now, I agree. But why y'all earn it? But we also have, and that's why I said with the Packers, as far as like obviously they've historically never really gone through free agency other than like, I mean, we hit on Charles Woodson. Yeah. Because because nobody wanted him for some reason. Yeah. It was stupid. But, like, we have 11 draft picks this year and five in the top 100. So, it's like, yeah. the Packers are going to do what they do and really try to take advantage of that draft. So. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm cool with that, bro. I know we know our team, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we know how we are. But me seeing that, I was just like, I pray that they do something, bro. Shut yeah. it up. Try and I know, something new. I know that's going to help a team like the Ravens, who they're they're potentially going to lose a lot of guys. I think like Patrick yeah. Queen is a free agent. Yeah. Um, I was talking with my homie, who's a who's a Ravens fan. Actually, I was talking to him yesterday about it, and he was like, you know, this is going to be huge for us to potentially bring. Some, we're going to lose a lot of guys, but it helps us potentially bring a lot of these guys back too. Yeah. The Chiefs, obviously, you know, Super Bowl teams always lose guys. I sent a clip like of that. um, I sent a clip of um Justin um Fields like. Jumping up and down, celebrating, and trying to speculate what's going on with that. Like just recently? Yeah, his uh, his agent 
posted a video on Instagram, and they're saying like supposedly it might be a deal that just happened or a mm-hmm. team hmm. agreed on something with him. What could it have been? I feel like it would be. I feel like it fucking would have been broken by now if it was a trade or something like that or like. I don't know, maybe... Maybe an endorsement? Maybe the Bears are looking at shop one. I don't know. Maybe they're going to believe in Fields. I don't think... He kind of already did his goodbye, didn't he? Didn't he, do a, didn't he do like an Instagram or a Twitter post or something like that? I don't know. Not that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, like, I don't know. When I think about the whole Justin Fields, Chicago situation, I just think about the idea of, like, do you either keep Justin Fields and extend him, or do you just hit the reset button on a quarterback and then you got another guy on a rookie deal with the number mm-hmm. one overall pick? Mm-hmm. Like... Caleb or whoever, like that's just it's, so. It's like there's that metric to it. It's like, do you want to have a guy who has literally done nothing but continue the losing of, as far as the quarterback goes and pay yeah, him yeah. top quarterback money to just keep losing? Chill. Like, <laughs> Chill. So, like I'm not. And like I think Justin Fields is a really good player when he has the up there. Yeah, goes, he goes. When he has the right system around him, yeah, like yeah. he's his legs are dynamic. He's up there with Lamar and like all those running quarterbacks. Like he's fucking awesome. But as far as throwing the ball, he ain't really shown shit. I think that's half, half of that is because of the Bears, though. I feel like they didn't invest in that uh, offensive line. Yeah. I feel like if you got to get it's a game, that he, he's that kind of quarterback. He likes being mobile. But shit, every play, I got to do this shit every yeah. play. And, <laughs> that, and I'm not doing it because I want like, to. And like, how many coordinators has he gone through since he's been? Like, I think yeah. they had Matt Nagy when he was there, and then they fired him. And it's yeah. like he's gone through just all these different – and that hurts more – I think that hurts more than the pers- personnel on the field is like Facts. when you're going through all these different coaches there all the time. Like, yeah, you, you hear so much different kinds of game calling and game play and what they want from you. Everybody wants something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that situation in Chicago mm-hmm. is really not all his fault. Mm-hmm. I feel like he still hasn't been able to be the player that he could possibly be. I'm not saying he hasn't helped this situation, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I've times, seen flashes. I have seen flashes. Yeah, he carved the Packers up a couple years ago. Doing, getting like his shit off. Yeah. And I feel like, and I ain't gonna lie, like, if they were to get it together... They'd be a fucking problem, but it's the Bears, so of course it's happening. Ha ha! So you know, I'm Dish just, said that he looked it up, and he said rumor is that in the video you hear somebody say you ready to go home. Oh, okay. So that rumor yeah. is he's going to Atlanta. Oh, okay. That, Which that, that would be my that, that was my prediction. That makes sense. Like, I think that was my prediction while we were still talking like a lot of NFL stuff because like it makes so much sense. Like mm-hmm. he's he's from Atlanta. Damn, did he go to the Falcons, bro. <laughs> I was just about to say that, <laughs> bro. That'd be a nice little squad. They fuck around and be the shit. That'd be a fucking good fit. And they're going to have a... They fit for that division. That division is... Oh. That division is... So they're just going to have to rebound. That'd be a second home second coming up on Vic. That'd be like they're going to reborn. They're going to have to... Because that's that literally... Defense. That's the kind of defense that he had. They defense is OC. They got all the offensive weapons. They O-line is... They need some receiver help, but other than they that... They got decent receivers. They got Drake London. That's pretty much all I can think of. They got Drake... And Pitts. What's the other cat? Yeah. It, that's a start. And they got Bijan. Bijan's a, a fucking monster. That's the thing, though. That's the part where I'm like... Yeah. Pairing him with Beasley. Yeah. yeah. And then they got... And, and then they're getting the 30 million extra. They can, they can like, hey, we can attract somebody over here. I agree. I think Atlanta should like, always be a team that is... That'd be crazy, though. He goes to Atlanta. That's going to be nuts. So, uh, out, so, with this $30 million per team, who, who like, outside of the obvious, who else do you think this is... Like, who else is going to benefit from this? I mean, obviously, mo- most teams will benefit, but, like, who is the one that you're who like... Who's going to take advantage? Yeah, who's going to take advantage in that shit? I, it's obvious. I think the, the fucking Chiefs is going to be the team. The Chiefs is definitely going to be the team. That's going to be... That's, that's going to take advantage. The, it, I feel like this story of the $30 million per team... The, it's going to be overran by the Chiefs because it's going to be one. It's going to be about all their weapons that all they're able to yeah. <laughs> Been passed around. Damn near. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, um, yeah. Besides the Chiefs, I mean, fuck the Eagles could probably take advantage of it, but they because they just started yeah. paying people. They now, Jason it's, it's, Kelsey still hasn't decided what the fuck he's. It's who do. we like, think are and who need to. That's so who Philly, needs to? Philly needs to. <laughs> yeah, so. Dallas probably will. Philly Dallas, Dallas always been Dallas, there. Dallas, Dallas. I mean, Dallas, Dallas don't have a shortfall money, so then you just giving them more money. They need yeah, that 30 mil. To, they they need that 30 mil to help with Dax cap next do. year. Do. Yeah. What is that so, shit, 59 Dallas, next year? I'll say, I'll say Bro, I would say, I, 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 I already had it in my head, something 
behind the scenes was going to go on to try to keep that cater. Like, listen, every time I look, when I look at us, I'm a Cowboys fan, mm-hmm. but like, I, it's good. It's like how I am with, with Apple. Like, I understand the unnecessary evils of Apple, right? <laughs> to me, when I look at Dallas, I'm like, bro, Dallas screams shady deals to me all the time, so. <laughs> I don't see what they see in Dak, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Bro, listen, okay, as a, as a Cowboy fan, when Dak first came, it was exciting. And I think what it is is I think that people – are not willing to let go that he did not live up to what we thought he was going to be. And so what it is, is it's like, uh, and every now and then, he'll do something just slightly like, see? No, 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 we good, let's keep him. And, and I'll be like, bro, niggas, we got to give it up, bro. <laughs> like, you know? The problem with Dallas quarterbacks, unfortunately, is that you can, have, you can have all the great regular seasons that you want. It's that playoff victory. And they haven't won a playoff game. They've, I, won, they've won one in his whole career. I knew it was going to go down when we didn't when we didn't do right by Zeke. Uh, I was all in on Zeke. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it, it was time for Zeke, bro. Yeah, I was he, all in on Zeke. He had a huge fall off. Bro. He did. He did. That next year he went to New England. You know he did for New England? Shit. Hey, listen here. I'm, I'm not talking about what the yeah, album happened. Yeah, I'm just bro. saying. I just felt like we could have rejuvenated. I feel like he still had. Rejuvenated. Put him in a put him in a hyperbolic time chamber. I just Tony, feel like Tony if he would have stood by the way. They might have a running back curse going on. Man. Over there. And then dudes couldn't see the field. <laughs> yeah, they, they got something going on over here in running back, in that running back position. Yeah. Uh, but I would say Philly, Philly needs to. Yeah. Um, Dallas will. Dallas will. Um, Chiefs will. I mean, I'm just trying to think um, of teams that are like losing a lot. Of Cincinnati, like Cincinnati, Cincinnati. T. Needs Higgins to. is potentially going to leave. Cincinnati need need Carolina. To Carolina. Carolina yeah. needs to beef up that whole roster. Yeah, they, and they're in the rebuild, so I kind of understand that situation. That 30 million should help them a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. but let's, they're, they're let's, the number one team that apparently T. Higgins is like. Connected to, so that's like one thing I've been seeing is team. That's another thing. Like who's who's breaking out the door to run to Carolina? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you they, know, who, you know, it would be a low key a nasty team that would have this money now because they have the right situation as far coach. as their quarterback and coach. The fucking Texans. Texans too. Mm. I was they got CJ Stroud on that rookie deal. Man. I was thinking the coach could do something with this. Yeah. Money. But, so it's gonna be interesting to see yeah. what teams do with the thirty million. See who fuck it off, who make it, <laughs> fuck it uh, off. who does. Because you know somebody gonna fuck somebody, it off. Somebody, somebody gonna get, do a move. Somebody like, gonna give all thirty it's million. Be, it's gonna be the Washington Washington. Somebody, that's, that's, that's where you spent your Washington, thirty million. Washington, that's Washington, where you did it. The Washington Washingtons. <laughs> Dude's gonna be, uh, dude's gonna uh, give uh, half a million to Doug Flutie and shit. Like, <laughs> you bring Doug back. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Uh, <laughs> He's back. Last bit of NFL news: The Chiefs release MVS. How we feel? I was a little surprised by it, but then I realized the cap hit, it kind of makes sense. Guys can't mm-hmm. get cut for that cap hit reasons like that. Um, as much as I don't fuck with MVS, I got to give him, he has had some of the biggest playoff catches for that team yeah. the last two oh, yeah. seasons. Yeah, the last two, yeah. I mean, it's it's the thing my <clears> brother <throat> pointed out. is like MVS makes the easy shit look, drops the easy shit, but then makes the toughest catches <laughs> in the world look, yeah. look routine. And it's like... Yeah, like I always hate them type of players. I think, I think he fucked up too much for them to, to account the fact that he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I think fuck up knew, always. <laughs> I think they knew like nah, good shit. But who your ass is out of here? It's what did they did it? What do you what 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 was the it was what was the, what was, it was the, the, There had to be a moment where he was like where you saw it, it was like the writings on the wall. It was like in the middle MBS? of the season. Yeah. It was like the middle of the season. Oh, like this season, yeah. oh, the whole yeah. the Eagles game, yeah. He was dropping shit all season for me. It was all season. I was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Pat is not happy. Yeah, yeah. Pat is not happy with you, buddy. <laughs> it was all season. I was like, mm-mm. Yeah. Pat is not going to uh, talk to you on the bus. Did you? He probably, he, probably, he, probably, he probably did. He probably could not celebrate that championship. No, he, oh, he yeah. celebrated. Don't oh, you see? He I, but here's the thing. Know that you about, know that you about to get kicked out? So, uh, they ordered, he ordered that chain before the game. I don't know if you guys saw it. He, oh. got, a, he got a Chief Super Bowl championship chain. Like ordered and made before the game uh, happened. Oh yeah, because he just he was like, we gonna win. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I just feel like it's still it's still it's a short lived celebration, knowing that you about yeah. to get kicked the fuck off. He probably didn't know. He probably had no. They probably smiling in his face and shit like, hey, they're. Like, I mean, it was only like a one year deal, I think, or a two year deal he signed. So <laughs> <laughs> that was like, yeah, 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 we did it. We did it. <laughs> just did. God, you got, right. Did you guys see the the that we're living in a simulation? That the, the NFL is really scripted. Oh, did yes, you see, yeah. did you see that for the past three years? Did you years? see the 2019-2023 comparison? Oh yeah. Well, that's been that's been a comparison for a lot so of things. Not all, just... all of the things that were exactly the same. I made a oh. list of them. 
So the, I thought it was. I thought it was 2020, 2024. Well, there's the 2019 20, season going yeah. into 2020. And oh 20, no, I'm, I'm talking 20, about just in general. People no, no. have been saying that we've been. No, right, so right. so here are the similarities between the 2019-20 season and the 23-24. Chiefs and 49ers in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl MVP. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson MVP. Mm-hmm. Um, Texans won the AFC South with 10 wins. <laughs> exactly how that is crazy. Seasons. That's, weird. that's actually uh, the that's... Eagles were eliminated from the playoffs in the first round. Yeah. The Ravens were the number one seed in the AFC. Washington was last in the NFC East with exactly 13 losses. <laughs> and the Chargers, Cardinals, and Panthers all finished last in their divisions. It was the same exact that's, thing yeah, in that's, 2019 that's, as that's the same thing in the 2000. Yeah. Oh, and also it was a leap year and. Uh, and an election year. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's, what I was about to get into. that's what I was just about to get into because that's what everybody could be comparing. It's like yeah. it's the leap year, yeah. it's, the, it's the election. Yeah. There's a couple of other things that As long that as happen. COVID don't come around, we're good. Well, this this is the month. If it happens, yeah, this is the true. month that we're supposed to get it. Where we Because remember, we went into lockdown, was it the 20th of March? 17th. 17th of March. Yeah. So if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen within this next two and a half weeks. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going to get that lockdown or something like they, that. They're in the lab right now, cooking up. Yeah. Getting and something, then, something ready. And then there was the other random stat of the day I saw. And it, it actually blew my fucking mind. I couldn't believe it. In all of the history of the NFL, there has never been a player from the University of Alabama that graduated from Alabama that has scored a point in the Super Bowl. Yep. That has never crossed the end zone in the Super Bowl. Wow. Nobody in the history of the NFL that went to, that graduated from Alabama has scored a touchdown in the NFL. Like kicked a field goal, nothing. Damn, for real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it was like Jalen Hurts scored three touchdowns in two years, Super Bowl two years ago, but he technically graduated from Oklahoma. Oh. Or like he came from Oklahoma, not Alabama, even though he so was like, like, a, like a fool. Like, <laughs> like you, fool like when it says in the NFL what school you came from, it says Alabama. Alabama, yeah. Okay, okay. But that's even like players that left early, everything. Damn, like, really? can you imagine that? Like, that's crazy. In the history of the NFL. Well, no, I guess but it was like, there was like, um, I mean, what was it? Um, Is that the only school? I don't know if that was the only school. Because that's, that's why I said, I mean, I get why, but. No, but Alabama. I know, that's why I said. That's, that's why I said, I get why. That's why I said, I get why it's a story. Yeah, like, it's like, crazy. I, I get why it's a story. I saw that, and I was like, bro, I got to bring that up. It's not only just to score a touchdown. No one's ever kicked a field goal either. Yeah, like, no points. Like, and then, obviously, like, uh, I think it was Terry Bradshaw went to Alabama, where, like, he threw touchdowns, but that doesn't count. The yeah. other player scored the touchdown. Yeah. He just threw it. He never run one in. Yeah, he's never run one in, exactly. And they were saying, like, the, I think the other one was, like, Joe Namath. They were like, oh, Joe Namath. But it was like, they won. Joe Namath. I think he handed the ball off, and then they kicked two field goals in the Super Bowl that they won. So it was like, that type of shit. I'm like, bro, that's wild. But, right, but yeah, man, that's, like, out of all the schools, Bama? Like, <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, you know what? I don't even know why I didn't put it on here, but it was, uh, I, th- I thought I did. But uh-huh. Bucks has been, since the All-Star break, they've four been 4-0. Oh. Well, yeah, 3-0 oh going on. Oh, 4-0, right? 4-0. They're no, calling right. right. it 4 right now. Yeah. We're calling this yeah. one 4 We're calling this one 4-0. It's 100, it's, it's, it's 102, 179, 7 minutes, seven minutes, seven minutes left. Four 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 day 4 and yeah, four four Um I will give it up to the How are we feeling, before we get into our OTC Player of the Week, how are we feeling about post-All-Star Weekend? I'm, I'm gonna give it up to you, man. Can, can I get some praise? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our defense is. How, I'm not. I'm not. Granted, I'm not. I'm not apologizing to Doc yet. I told you, but granted, I will. I will if this, if this continues. I feel like, he, need, I feel like he need not like a full apology, but a little. Okay, you doing something? So, oh yeah, okay. I'll so, give you that. So, hey, I'll, hey, Doc, so I'll say this. Doc, we beat, I'm, I'm we beat Doc. the Timberwolves. Good win. Yeah. We beat the Sixers. Good win. Yeah. Two and two and a horns in the two and a horns, and but I expect this. Yeah, I no, expect I do this too. When we play the horns. I, we were talking about it though during the other night when, yeah. when they won by like fifty or whatever. Yeah. I was like, right, yeah, so, they should. So yeah. Monday gonna be a game. Well, Monday's gonna be a game that I'm that, that I'm gonna pay attention yeah, to. The Clippers, then they play the Golden State, and then they play L.A. No, know. our our bro, our next run yeah. is it's about to be. We play the Clippers. We, we play, play the Golden State. I'm not including. Bulls, I'm Bulls. not including the Bulls. Yeah. What, Friday. What? Monday? This this Mo- Monday? Yeah, Monday. This is next Monday, yep. Next Monday. Monday is the Clippers. Wednesday is Golden State. Friday is the Lakers. Sunday is the Clippers. Tuesday, uh, that following Damn, that is a stretch, Sacramento. Bro. Then we play in Philly. And then they then play we go in Phoenix. Yeah, that's then a we go in Boston. Bro. Like, bro, we this is these games. This is these. This, this, 
That's, that's a gauntlet, bro. Already, that's already, 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 that's already, already, the stretch. Already. We're going to drop a few of these games, but I'm expecting them. We get a breather. We, we, we get a breather with Brooklyn, but then we back with OKC, back at Lakers, Pelicans, Pelicans sleep at, the Hawks. Atlanta. Then we get the Wizards and the yeah. Grizzlies back to back. But you know what's crazy? We lose those games. Go, mm-hmm. Keep going. Those will be the games we lose. I just want to see. Then we got going. Toronto, New York, Boston again. I just want to see if we play on birthday or not. No, we don't. We play the 18th. That's my birthday. I just did not be played. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. So yeah, so we got like I said, we we do we got some games that's going to let us know what we about. And yeah. so, this stretch of like the next ten games is going to be wild. Yeah. Yep, yep. So let's get into our OTC player of the week, Bergie. I know you already got you yours. Crazy. You know what's crazy? Last one I changed mine. <gasps> you changed yours. I seen a stat that just made me say, you know what? Then I'm gonna steal yours because when you said, I'm like, damn it, that's what I was gonna go with. I'm gonna pass my phone around. My player of the week. <laughs> Ice it was today. Cube. It was. The, it was this week. It was today, but Ice Cube. <laughs> it was this week. <laughs> today was a good day. <laughs> Last week he fucked around and got a triple double, no. y'all bum ass niggas. Dog, that. My boy hilarious. put up ten points. No, no, I'm not gonna take yours. Twelve rebounds, <laughs> and ten assists. My nigga Cube was out there doing God's work. <laughs> Oh, man. You got to put the artwork. I need y'all to put the picture. I'm going to seduce the picture. That's funny. Seduce the, the picture so y'all can put it up in the Yeah, uh, shout, out, shout, out to, shout out to Ice Cube's son, yeah. too. My boy Ice oh, man. Cube. Oh, Jr. Bro, bro, that is my dog. I was just I was just having a conversation. And I said, bro, the craziest thing about this whole Cody Rhodes situation yeah. is that O'Shea Jackson Jr. somehow is thrown into the mix of this. And he's been fighting the timeline. Bro, he, <laughs> he, he, he is probably one of my favorite Twitter followers right now. fighting the timeline, dog. I love it. Holding it down, though. He, he but, talks wrestling yeah. the way that I want yeah. motherfuckers to talk wrestling. It's dope. Yeah. That's uh, dope. Jay, you got yours loaded? I do. I do have one. It's, um, it's baseball related. Granted, we're in spring training. Mm-hmm. But I'm going with the man who made his Dodgers debut. And in his third at bat, hit a motherfucking Apo Taco home run. Shohei Otani, okay. the $2 million mm-hmm. man this year that's going to make a shit ton of way after that. Yeah. But not only just because he made his debut and in his debut game he hit a home run, um, he also got married. Hey, Surprisingly, okay. like okay. everybody was like, "Damn, sure he's off the market." <laughs> Man, listen, you, so, they, 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 hey, he want to lock in. Like, well, lock nah, in. Yeah. Lock so, in. Yeah. She, no, she. 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 I, that's <laughs> what I said. When I said it, I was like, "He want to lock it down." I was like, "We don't know. We don't know." He's going to make it two million dollars yeah. in baseball yeah. for the next what decade? Yeah. But it's like he got seventy-eight million coming after a fifty-eight yeah, million right. after that. So. Hey, but it really it, it, it removes distraction. It's like, okay, I got my one. Let me just. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether she good for me or not, we'll, it's, it, we'll, it's, we'll see. No, but but, no, but no, right no, now, no. I got my one. I ain't got to worry about. I ain't got to worry about chicken. It's funny because like his dog went super viral because yeah. like during the interview process of him like announcing that he was signing. Well, the I already like, see it, bro. Dog. He's gonna be one of those people that is a media sweetheart. Where it's like everything you do becomes oh, yeah. news. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And his also dog because, will be new. Yeah, like, Shohei's also got that personality, bro. They, whatever, whatever. If he ever get photo eating any type of food from any restaurant, that shit gonna go crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be that. Plus, he's just a goofy motherfucker. Yeah, right? yeah. You know and what I'm saying? bro, I keep forgetting. Like, you look at somebody like Shohei. Like, he's mm-hmm. he just he looks like a like an in shape dude. This motherfucker is like six five, two thirty five. Like he's <laughs> built like a brick house, bro. I'm like, dog, how are you this big, this fast, this strong, dog? It doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, Shohei. Big ups. Yep. So I am going to get shout out Steel Streets. Is- no, 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 no. I was, I was, but no. I forgot. Now I, I gotta know who which, it was. Which ain't bad. Like, now what? I gotta know who it was. Well, I remember um, it was, was uh, um, uh, Kimba Walker. Kimba Walker. Okay. He scored 92. Yes, yes. I did score. That was fake. That's was it, it was fake. What? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, so glad you didn't pick it. Damn. Well, I, oh, well, Dish, well, hopefully mine ain't fake. Good thing Dish was here. Keona Doug, Doug wouldn't have said Keona it. Keona Christmas? <laughs> Keona Christmas? I didn't see her stat. She, oh, the, yeah, yes. she scored a quintuple double. 11 points. 20 rebounds, 11 assists, 10 steals, and 10 blocks. Yep. That, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I remember, I remember you posted She is the 10th person in history to do that. So, so she's a, what nice. is it, a six triple double? Because <laughs> she's yeah. the 10th person to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a quintuple double, bro. That's like, crazy. that is High school, crazy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Bro, so that, yo. I, and I hope I said your name right. Kiona Christmas. This is K I E O N N A. It may be Kiana. It might be. It's probably. Kiana. It might be Kiana. Like Kiana. Kiana Christmas. Kiana Christmas. Whoever you are, you are my OTC player of the week. You killed it. That is 
an amazing fucking stat. So, so there's only ten people have done that. Only dope. ten people in history in all of sports. That's crazy. I that's mean, dope. yeah. So that's yeah. So that's my that's my OTC player of the week. But I want to hear from y'all. Who are y'all player of the week? Um, let's 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 use Jake's debate. I want to know if for for Jake's question, if the the their entry <clears throat> into the league was reverse. reverse, would Jordan still be the goat? Or if Jordan's not your goat? Will Jordan be your goal, or vice versa? If LeBron's the goal, or is Blue LeBron be your goal? Um, and then also, you know, again, we're a Milwaukee podcast. How do you feel about post All Star Doc? I want to get, I want to hear what y'all got to say about that. And then also, lastly, too, um, should they retire Kyrie's jersey? <laughs> should they retire Kyrie's jersey? Those are big takes. But as always, man, this is the podcast where the game begins and ends. I have been your host, Young Deuces. This has been Bergy. This has been Jake. This is a Geek Set Podcast production in, uh, in partnership with the Believe Network. And we are out. Pow. Peace. Pow. That's your new, Pow. That's your new one. <laughs>